ideal date night is, um, I mean, dinner, like a like good food, good conversation, good wine, and then, um, you know, some alone time when we get home is like, that's the best. I started cooking a lot uh, during the early and worst days of the pandemic, you know, or of the uh, quarantine, I should say, when we were stuck in the house and we weren't ordering out and stuff and we wanted to still eat well and kind of um, have some special romantic moments every now and again when we could. Cooking became also <laughs> a creative outlet during those early days, you know, like it, I kind of looked forward to it. It was almost like my, you know, my six o'clock curtain or something, you know, it was almost like, you know, I can relate it to the stage a little bit. I felt like I had an audience, uh, a very, very small audience, <laughs> but uh, a waiting audience that was very excited. And I would get my little applause when I did well. So it was, uh, yeah, it was a way that I could kind of stay connected to something creative and useful. I cook so infrequently now, unfortunately. I mean, the, the Broadway thing is like, it's um, it's just for a season, you know, it's very intense, uh, but you do it only, I do it only when I find something that's worth the sacrifice. You know, if I can find writing that's special enough, a situation that feels like, okay, I'm gonna go in and do that for a while and um, sleep very little and you know it's hard on the body and all that stuff but it's it's worth it when the material is worth it so no i don't cook much now now a lot of eating out now my favorite thing the thing that i eat most frequently you i do become like a creature of habit you know i like kind of doing the same thing when i'm in a show you want to, you know, I want to count on something. I don't want anything to mess up <laughs> the rhythm. So there's this on two show days, and we have uh, a few of them each week. We have three two show days a week, and so I'll get a a, a wrap that has eggs and um, some avocado and potatoes and peppers and sometimes bacon or sometimes chicken, and I'll eat half during the show and half after the show, half in between shows. And that keeps me like energized and it's not too heavy. Days off are usually like spent working on other things that I don't get to work on while I'm on stage. So, but I, I'll say like at this time in my life, the, the thing that brings me the most joy is, is balance. And so a, a day off is, uh, it's gonna feel, it's gonna feel balanced. I'm gonna feel like I had time with my kids, time with my wife, time to myself. That's, that's the ideal day off. I hope that the next 10 years, cause I believe, you know, somebody's listening. I hope that the next 10 years that I can find a way to be more of service and more useful to my community and um, and I hope that it looks like creative freedom, more and more creative freedom. That's what I hope. Enjoy. I hope it's joyful. <laughs>